So in space, in this weightless environment, we lose a lot of bone mass, muscle mass, 1% of our bone every month if we didn't do anything about it. So Gosh. it really kind of mimics the effects uh, of as if we were aging, but a very, at a very accelerated rate. And that's the reason why we're in space. Uh, one of the reasons why I was there for a whole year is to study these effects. So someday when we want to go to Mars, we'll know how to prevent these kind of things from happening. Like you said, you know, you lose 1% of your bone mass in a month. After 100 months, we wouldn't have any bones left and we'd be like jelly. Yeah. How, how much it, do you work out, hours a day? Yeah, two and a half hours a day, day, every day. How long uh, do we estimate Mars is? How, many, how, many, how long will it take to get there if we try? Well, with you know our current, current you know capabilities, over 200 days to get there, you'd spend a year on the surface. Over 200 days to get back, you'd regain some of the muscle when you're on the surface, I guess. Even True. though it's yes, you would. You it would, would be how much compared to Earth? It's smaller, right? The yeah. So uh, Mars is a third the size of Earth, so a third of the gravity. You'd jump pretty high. You might be able to dunk a basketball. You'd be, I probably could, because <laughs> I know I can't do it. I, 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 I know I can't do that. You know, cutting to the chase. I can't imagine that this must thing is viable because you do things when you're a businessman to, to make money and there's, this, is, this is a government project. This is not a private project. There's no money to be made going to Mars. Well, you know, generally, the, you know, big projects that don't have a uh, immediate return on your investment is something that governments do. Now, having said that, when Elon Musk said he was going to launch the rocket and then land the first stage on a barge. He didn't believe that either. I thought he was crazy. Right. And then he, he did, did it. So I'm not going to ever <laughs> doubt what he says ever again. And by the way, SpaceX is a great, has been a great business in large part because of the government but contracts. But going to Mars is different, though. Well, we'll see. Do you think the government will ultimately subsidize that for him? What's the government? Well, we, we, uh, we support SpaceX now in right. their, their right. Uh, development of a transportation system to low Earth orbit. How do you think, we always talk about this, we're going to have Richard Branson on later this week. How do you think about what Richard Branson is doing relative to what Elon Musk is doing relative to what Jeff Bezos is doing? I mean, so they're all, they're all different. Yeah, I think in, in some cases, though, they do have the, uh, uh, the same, like, end goal uh, if you can get into either suborbital space safely, regularly, you know, eventually you could potentially fly from, you know, L.A. to, uh, to the United Kingdom in 45 minutes. So, you know, part of it is a uh, transportation system to support NASA. Part of it is about space tourism. But eventually, you know, if we really develop a, uh, a, a robust... Do you think that's realistic? Do you think in, in your lifetime you're going to see that? Yeah, I think so. You do? That kind of transportation. For, you know. uh, for mass use? or no, just... Well, not at first. Yeah. I think at, at first what we'll have is uh, something similar to the early days of aviation where, you know, the barnstormers took people for rides. And then that will develop into a transportation system. And I would like to think within, you know, 30 years yeah. that might be... Do you think it can be done a... safely? I mean, that's always the big risk. It won't be as safe in the beginning as it will as we, you know continue to fly into space. So the more we do it, the better we get at it. You know, initially... Do you feel safe up there, by the way? In How about, uh, I want to talk about the launch pad. Yeah. Is it worse than, than when Andrew's taking off on a commercial airline flight? I mean, that's, that's scary enough, right? Yeah. I mean, how, how scared were you? You know, I... You, You're you ready think, to meet your maker. Are you, you think not? about your mortality yeah. kind of leading up to the event, but at a certain point prior to getting into the rocket, you've kind of come to terms with the fact that, you know, this might be the last thing I do. Um, <laughs> right. And you just go and do it. Did chill. you ever feel that way while, when you were up there? Um, you know, there's risk involved. Uh, you know, in my, in my book here, I talk about uh, this case where we had with space debris right. possibly hitting us. Yep. And you kind of think, you know, there's a chance like in we could be in this 35,000 mile an hour collision. What's the most realistic space movie that you've seen? Apollo 13. Yeah. Martian. I thought the Martian was pretty good from a yep. science Constellation perspective. When you came ride, back right? down, just the effects of gravity coming back, because I jump on a trampoline for 20 minutes and you get back and you yeah. don't know what's going on. What, 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 did, what did it feel like when you first came You know, back I down? had some, uh, there were some negative, you know, physiological effects, certainly, uh, you know, Stiffness in my joints and muscles, nausea, uh, vestibular, you know, Scott, dizziness. What, what, I'm sorry. We, we got, tell me, we got to wrap up. What, what can I learn from the book about about just being a human and about being and, and everything else? I mean, that's what you. There's a lot in there, is there not? Yeah. So you know, not only is this book about being in space for a year, but it's also a story of a kid that, if I was in school today, I would be the kid with ADD or ADHD. 
And it wasn't until I read a book, The Right Stuff, that motivated me, motivated me that I could do more than, uh, than I was doing. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.